All right, gang, so let's talk about FMEA. Now, we're talking specifically about auditing the FMEA. Now, a majority of the problem that we see is people perform the audits of the FMEA, but they actually don't see results. And the problem and the reason why you're not getting support for your audit of the FMEA is largely because you are not focusing on performance. So today, what I'd like to do, I'd like to give you three simple ways that you can prioritize performance in your FMEA audit to get the support that you need. Now, the first way is realizing that there is more than one interested party for your FMEA audit. On the screen here, we've listed three. You've got management, you've got yourself as an auditor, and then you've got the practitioner or the owner, let's say, of the FMEA. If you only focus on the needs of your audit scheme, the management won't have buy-in, that process owner also won't have buy-in, and so when you go to produce your results, your results will largely be marginalized and seen as not relevant to the other two parties. This is one of the biggest problems we see with auditors is they're not focusing on things that other interested parties are actually interested in. So that's the first thing. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure you tailor your results to something that these three parties, they care about. So you need to think about the management, right? What language does management speak? Management speaks time and money. The practitioner speaks performance. And the auditor, of course, we speak scheme conformance. So if you're focusing your performance on only one party or another, you're not going to get the support of the other two. So in order to do that, you're going to have to find a way to target your FMEA audits around a subject that matters to all three. And you're then going to have to go through and identify in your audit what you produce in order to help those parties. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to focus on, many people when they go into an FMEA audit, they're focused on the things that they cannot change. So when you audit the FMEA and you find discrepancies, one of the things that you'll see a lot of times is some of those discrepancies will take a significant amount of effort to change. And so what happens is the results of the audit, the performance of the audit, then generally decreases because what you're in effect telling them is here is a problem that is going to take a tremendous amount of resource and is more of a strategic problem instead of something that we can actually work on that drives the bottom line. So if we recap real quickly, one of the first things you're going to do when you focus on performance, you're going to identify the interested parties that actually have a vested interest in the FMEA. The second thing you're going to do you're going to look for areas in which those three parties overlap so that you can target your process or your audit on what you're doing. And the third thing you're going to do is you're going to focus your results on things that you can actually control. Because when you have control, when you have the authority as an organization, now you feel empowered. If it's nothing but a constant list of complaints around things that you really can't change, nobody is going to take your audit seriously for your complaints. All right, hope you learned a little bit about auditing for performance of your FMEA. And if you want more tips and tricks like this, check out plexusintl.com for more free material on auditing FMEA. All right, we'll see you in the next one.